All right, here's the clear case of a chemtrail. You can see it right there. But, oh, there's the plane. What's that? Look, there's a plane flying with nothing coming out. No contrail, no chemtrail, nothing. But yet, just seconds ago, as you can see in the first frame, there was a chemtrail or a contrail, whatever you debunkers want to call it. We know it's chemtrails, but if you want to call it a contrail, let's call it that. But how come this plane has nothing coming out? No contrail, no chemtrail, nothing. Yet seconds, you know, a couple of minutes, probably 15, 20 minutes before, you can see that big trail that's dispersed. Now here, one more time, let's see it. There's the contrail or chemtrail. There's an airplane flying right by just 10 minutes later, maybe 20 minutes. Oh, nothing's coming out. I'll tell you why. He ran out of fluid. He ran out of his chemtrail barium aluminum mix. And, oh, look at that. Nothing's coming out. How do you debunkers, how are you going to debunk that, debunkers? Nothing is coming out of that airplane. Yet, 10 to 20 minutes before, there was tons coming out. You can see the trail. There it is. There's the big trail. It's dispersed. There's the plane underneath it. Nothing. Look at that. Once again, there's the trail. And only 10, 20 minutes later, bam, another plane goes by with nothing coming out. Why? Because he doesn't have any chemtrail mixture coming out. There's no aluminum or barium coming out of that plane. That's the way planes used to look in my childhood. And in the 60s and the 70s, nothing was coming out. That's the way they all looked. But now there's stuff coming out. Well, there you go. And this was just shot. Um, thanks for Stormy 13, Weather 13 for this footage. He gave me permission, and I'm giving him credit. The links are in the description. Take care.